Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a part two in the series on how to start streaming because I find that it's very, at least when I started streaming, I literally had no idea where to begin and so I basically learned all these things on my own. But don't worry, I got you with the YouTube series. I'm cranking out these videos all in one night. It's 11.17 right now. But today's video is how to go make Twitch overlays and panels for free with pretty much zero graphic design experience. So here are some example um, overlays and panels that I have already made in TikTok examples. But again, because TikTok only limits me to one minute at, uh, max for videos, I can go more in depth on YouTube in terms of how to use Canva, which is the site that we're going to be using today. Canva is free and it is the best resource possible to go create graphics, any sort of graphics that you could possibly want. So let's start with making an overlay or basically an offline screen. Let's start with that. So we can go under here under the search bar and then click Twitch banner if you want to go the easy route and look for some pre-made ones. So let's see here. Let's scroll around here. There's a ton of options. You can pick any one that you like and then alter the text. So let's see here. I'm going to go with this one. So the way this works is everything is already preset on this um, basically PNG that you can later export and download. Now, if you leave it like this, it's totally fine. But you know, it's a little bit it's a little bit basic. It is a free already pre-designed overlay on Canva, so we can go and kind of change it up. But by using a pre-designed uh, template, we can already we can. We already have some things laid out for us. They already pre-selected the text for us to use. It's already predetermined a color palette with this gray color, this bright fuchsia or pink color, whites, and another very pretty blue color. So here we can go under elements and we can go find other elements under here to add to our um, overlay. So let's see here. Live streaming every Saturday, 8 to 10 p.m. Perfect. Catharsis will be the username. So I'm going to swap swap this to the uh, fake account that I made, which is called Lychee Naicha. Oh, that's too big. If it's too big, it's okay. We can just downsize. Oh, perfect. Follow me on my social media. So let's just, again, make up some social media. Lychee. Uh-oh. Let me put this back. Lychee. And... I'm typing here uh, fake handles because this is an account that doesn't exist. I'm just using it as an example account. But again, don't forget to put in your own information in place of the text. Now, I'm just going to go and get rid of all these things here. You can leave them if you want, but I want to change it up a little bit because it is a preset template. And I want to add more personality to it. So I'm going to go look under here under the icons and they already have some icons that are perfectly themed. So let's see, they have foliage. Ooh, simply drawn objects. Okay, I like this. Also, a lot of the assets are free, but there's also a lot of assets you have to pay for. So just make sure that when you're selecting assets, you select the ones that you do not have to pay for unless you have Canva Pro. So I'm just going to go click and drag some of these assets over. I like I like the flower. Um, where are some other ones? I'll put the cherry here. Let me go add this. You can also scale and resize. So I'll make this one a little bit smaller. Let me put this in this corner here. I really like the pizza, even though it doesn't have anything to do with my branding. But you know what? I want to... Man, it doesn't fit the branding. I'll get rid of it. Sad. Let's see here. I like the peach. So I'm going to I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to put... Or actually, I'll make it a little bit bigger. I'll put it here. And let me go and add... Oh, that looks too similar to the peach. I'll go add an apple orange orange i don't even know my own fruit all right we're gonna put it like this all right so now we have but now you can see the color is like a little bit cluttered and i don't want to go for like a dark color vibe i want to go for a more cutesy floral color because the username is lychee naicha which means lychee milk tea all right so i'm gonna make it this pink color it looks really obnoxious but don't worry we're gonna fix it so I want to stick with this dark pink, and then I like this, um, actually, I will, I will lighten this color a little bit, just so it's not so muddy. Okay, lighten this color. Now, none of these colors 
from the icons I selected match, but don't worry, we can go change that. If you go to the color here, oopsies, select the color, and then you can go to the color wheel, and it will let you select a different color. So let's see here. I'm going to go change it to this color. And then here, see, it has the three colors that were used for the um, flower. But again, we can go change that. Um, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Let me click the cherry. I want it to be this color. Oh, wait, I messed up here. I messed up. I messed up. I want that to be this, but I want the orange to be this peach color. And then I'm going to make this back to, I'll make this the peach and then let me lighten the background color some more. Like this. Now we have a overlay that we have created ourselves using Canva. And then if you go up to this corner, you can just hit the download button. Make sure it is a PNG because that is the highest resolution for your image. And we're just going to go and download that. Now to make panels, we can go back to create a design and add custom dimensions. Now for panels, we want the width to be 320 and the height at most to be about 160, but I like to make it a little bit smaller so we can make it 140. Let's hit create design. All right, now we have a blank canvas, but don't worry, we can fix that. So let us go to the um, overlay we made, click the color, hit new color, and make sure you copy the code here. That's the code for the color. Now, if you click the background, we click the color wheel, we can paste the code in and make sure the background's the same. Now, again, if we go over to our cam, um, the overlay we made, we can click the text, hit copy, and then paste it over here. And then just, let's just delete that. We don't want this. Okay. Now we can go make our panel. So let's call this, um, about me. And then let's make it bigger. Or we can make it a little bit smaller and then um, we can move it over here to the side. Oh, actually, you know what? All right, so we can, all right, so we have the text centered here. Now let's grab some of the icons that we actually used here. So let me copy that and then paste that over here. Let me put the cherry in here. Let me get a little bit smaller. Let's make the cherries and then copy this. Put the peach here copy the orange it's not even orange anymore copy the flower and then paste that down here let me let me make it smaller and then rotate it a little bit so you can still kind of see it bam and then you can go to download and then download it as well so let's go make a rules panel and for donations and again make as many as you need so now that we have our offline screen and that we have our panels, let us go to our creator dashboard and then let us go to preferences and then channel and let us scroll down. Do, 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 do. All right. And the, here is the video player banner, which is your offline banner. So let's go update that. Let's go add a photo. All right. So we have uploaded our offline banner. So let us go back to our channel. Bam, look at that offline banner right there. And so here, here are the panels. I made these panels randomly earlier for TikTok as an example, but a lot of people actually don't know how to edit panels. It's very simple. You see this little like switch over here, click it and it will allow you to edit panels. So uh, when you are making your panels, don't forget to add the image, add the image you made. So we're gonna do about me. We're gonna add, I think this is donations. Nope, that's not it. Add image, let's add the donations, and then let's add image, and then let us add rules. Now, when you're doing panels, oh, <laughs> my online store. When you're adding panels, do not add a panel title. If you add panel titles, this is how it will look like. Okay, so let's put about me, and then if we put rules, and also don't forget to submit before you before you hit the switch again. Otherwise, it will not save. So let's close it. See, then it'll look like this, right? And then you'll have the text above your panel arts or your panel header, which doesn't look very good. It doesn't make any sense. There's no point in having repeating information like that. So let's just get rid of that and then submit all three. Bam! Now you have your handmade panels as well.
And again, let me go back to panels. So if you want your panels to link to something in the box that says image links to, literally just paste it in here. Also, if you want to go and have um, a hyperlink in your panel, let me hear it. Let me just copy this for the link. The way you do it is you literally just do it like this. It's called Markdown and it's what Twitch does, or it's um, something that Twitch supports. So you just put the text that you want it to say. So this is just link. Um, and then use parentheses and then paste your link like that. So it will be the text in square brackets and then the link in parentheses. Let's hit submit. Let me close this. Bam. And now you have a link and it literally just, I just linked it to the channel. <laughs> so again, that is your tutorial on how to go and make your free overlays and panels using Canva and to make good looking panels, how to clean it up under your stream or whatever to make it very clean and cohesive. I hope everything helped. And again, if it helped, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will be posting more information on how to start as a streamer if you don't know where to begin. And make sure to check out my Twitch. The link will be below. I do streamer tip Saturdays where I provide advice for streamers and I will be reviewing people's streams. So every single Saturday at 9 p.m. I do first come first serve. So the first 30 people get on a list and I will go through and review your streams. Also, when I'm not doing that, I will be playing viewer games, viewer among us and playing ranked League of Legends. If you would like to watch a toxic jungler, come on through. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And don't forget to go catch my next video.